Don't shoot. I'm not... What are you doing here? I'm, uh, waiting for Bo. I thought I saw somebody break into his office. What are you, what are you, what are you doing here? I didn't think it'd be you. What's all of your shirt? Coffee. What are you doing here? Uh, yeah, I, I just, I came to use Uncle Bo's computer. You got a problem with that? No, if you want to hack into Uncle Bo's computer, I don't mind. I wasn't hacking. Then why'd you close the blinds? You know, I have a right to get into the department's database. Yeah, I'm sure all the secretaries do. I am not just a secretary. You never were, honey. No, I'm, I'm serious. I, I got a new job. I start classes soon. I'll be a forensic tech. Really? Yep. Cool. Thanks. So, uh, you're doing what? A little advanced homework? No, no, actually. There's this case uh, I want to help out with. Before you ever have a single class? You started doing PI work before you started school. This is about McBain, isn't it? Why would you say that? You snuck in here. We wouldn't see you working at the front desk computer. You know, I don't appreciate having the finger pointed at me by someone who ended up in Central Park with an armful of heroin. How'd you know about that? What were you thinking messing with like that? I was set up. Somebody put that needle into my arm. What? You didn't say anything to Bo, did you? I, mean, I wouldn't do that. I saw him earlier tonight. He didn't act like he knew about it. Who did this to you? I was in New York with Adriana. You do the math. Dorian? Oh my, oh my God. A Adriana must be freaking out. She doesn't know. Why? I didn't tell her. Rex, you could not keep this way. Adriana needs to know how far her crazy mother will go to get rid of you. I don't want to talk about Dorian. I want to talk about what you're up to. What don't you want McBain to know about? I've, I've been really hard on John the last few months. He had it coming. Oh, well, he's hurting too. You know, we got into a fight tonight and I saw that. You owe him nothing. I don't know. What are you doing at the computer? <sighs> John decided to open his father's murder case. You know, they never found the guy who shot him. And you're going to help. He doesn't want me to. But you're not taking no for an answer. Oh, man. It's the Killing Club killer all over again. You remember when you almost got me pierced with an arrow? All to show John how useful you can be? Okay. All right. This doesn't all have to do with John. You know, i got to get a lot of field hours in to get certified. You can get those hours anywhere. You don't need to get tangled up with John McBain again. I'm not being tangled up. <sighs> I really thought you were over him. But now you're going out of your way to go behind his back to work on something that he doesn't need your help on. <sighs> Wake up, Maddie. You've made your decision. I mean, Natalie looks pretty intense. This whole thing gives me a sick feeling of deja vu. You doing anything to get next to John McBain. I'm not trying to get back with John, okay? But I do still care about him. Uh, you know, his father's stuff really messed him up, and I'd like to see if I can get through this. Even if he wants to do it all by himself. You know, you're sounding a lot like Roxy. How? Well, she says that I'm playing both John and Christian. Uh, what does she know? A lot. You've got that look in your eye. Okay. John's father was killed in Atlantic City 25 years ago in a back alley deal that went sour. Who knows more about back alley deals than Roxy Balsam herself? Oh, I see what's coming. Oh, I can help John. And I don't need a computer to do it. Okay, did you hold your horse and told you how to look for it, okay? Can somebody answer the damn phone? I'm sorry, Miss Buchanan has been called away to a crime scene. She'll get back to you ASAP. Are you trying to get me fired? No, I'm trying to watch your back. On the phone, you sound like Mommy Dearest, not a seasoned forensic professional. Okay, well, I'm so sorry. You know, I have my forensic classes, I have my job here, and a brother who thinks he's going to point ping. So I'm sorry if my voice didn't sound sexy on the phone. Oh, knock it off. This isn't about work or school or me. You're a mess because of John, and we both know it. 
if I wanted to have my life judged by someone, I would want it to be by someone who was smart enough not to get injected with heroin. It's when you're really, really nasty that I know I'm right. You know, why don't you go drool over Adriana, okay? I have got work to do. Work that keeps you tied to John, taking classes that keep you tied to different... Leave me alone! Never! Rex, what do you want me to do? You want to marry some guy who sells aluminum siding and live in suburbia the rest of my life? I'd rather you do that than be hung up on John McBain forever. Doc, he diagnosed me as being stressed out and then he come at me swinging. I'm pointing out what you won't admit to yourself. All I want is for you to be happy, like me. Happy like you. That's right, sis. You are looking at the happiest dude on the planet. I'm so glad that you and Adriana are so happy, but that does not give you the right to preach to me. What's got you in such a bad mood? I'm dead tired, okay? I was up all night studying for my classes. I'm working here all day. I had class morning. You don't have to put in any time here. You're Buchanan, remember? I miss it. Miss it or miss John? Rex! Sorry. I'll back off. You want to know why I'm in a bad mood? You know, the whole time John and I were together, he agonized over his father's death. They had never caught the killer, and now he's actually doing something about it. And he won't... Let you help him. Turn me down flat. You know, and I actually have a lead on somebody who, who might be able to help John find out who his father's killer is. And I, I'd like to give it to him, you know, after everything that he's done for me. So find the guy yourself. I, I don't know how to do that. I mean, if I was working with John, then... What, 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 what am I, chopped salad? You don't even have your PI license. I'm taking classes just like you. And I passed looking for people who don't want to be found with flying colors. You really help me do something that John doesn't want me to do? Don't I always? You really are the best brother. What? Uh, I've, I have been so caught up in myself, I totally forgot that my sister's going through something big right about now. I don't... Maybe you should go to this big shrink session. Yeah, Tess knows how to push my button, so I'm not so sure I can keep my mouth shut. I might actually make it worse. Good call. Thanks. Look, your mom got through this, right? Jessica will, too. Yeah. Tess will let them get to her. Why do you gotta take me off so much? Because you really are a decent brother. A decent brother. I'm a decent brother. Natty, I, I didn't know of Jess, or I wouldn't have been so rough on you. I didn't know that. Okay, let's talk about something that I can actually do something about. This guy you want to find. His name is Vincent Jones. Uh, Vincent Jones, as in, I didn't really hear you say that. Why? Okay, that dude is majorly connected. As in, mobbed up to the eyeballs, as in guys who hurt people. For fun. Okay. I mean, you know, it's not like I expected this guy who's going to help us find John's father's killer to be a nun or a mime or something. What are you, chicken? Uh, yeah, and with good reason. So, your work here is done. Okay, over, finished. So, dust dust for fingerprints, do your homework, you are done with this case. Are you channeling John now? No, I'm taking care of my sister. All right, I will look into this carefully. You keep your head down, your mouth shut. I can't let this go, Rex. Nag me all you want, but let me do it. Okay, okay. But I want everything on this guy. I want to know what color his shoes are, what color his socks are, what color his sheets are, all right? Everything. Clear? What? Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't do lunch. Uh, I have to go pick Adriana up over at Christian's. Oh, well, good. I'm glad she's spending time with him. Yeah, she's probably helping him, you know, with his uppercuts. Yeah. See ya. See ya.